Welcome to Daily Bible Benefits. Today is Thursday, September 21st. On this day in 1780, during the American Revolution, American General Benedict Arnold meets with British Major John Adry to discuss handing over West Point to the British in return for the promise of a large sum of money and a high position in the British Army. The plot was foiled and Arnold, a former American hero, became synonymous with the word traitor. Today on the broadcast, I'll be talking about Stephen's Sermon, Part 1, Acts chapter 7, verses 1 through 16. Then said the high priest, Are these things so? And he said, Men and brethren and fathers, hearken, the God of glory appeared unto our father Abraham when he was in Mesopotam- Mesopotamia, before he dwelt in Karan, and said unto him, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, kindred, and come into the land which I shall show thee. Then came he out of the land of the Chaldees, and dwelt in Karan, and from thence, when his father was dead, he removed him into this land, wherein ye now dwell, and he gave him none inheritance in it, no, not so much as to set his foot on. Yet he promised that he would give it to him for a possession, and to his seed after him when as yet he had no child. And God spake on this wise, that his seed should sojourn in a strange land, that they should bring them into bondage, and entreat them evil four hundred years. And the nation to whom they shall be in bondage will I judge, said God. And after that shall they come forth and serve me in this place. And he gave him the covenant of circumcision. And so Abraham begat Isaac and circumcised him the eighth day. And Isaac begat Jacob, and Jacob begat the twelve patriarchs. And the patriarchs moved with envy, sold Joseph into Egypt. But God was with him, and delivered him out of all his affliction, and gave him favor and wisdom in the sight of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. He made him governor in Egypt and all his house. Now there came a drought throughout all the land of Egypt in Karan, and in great affliction, and our fathers found no substance. But when Jacob heard that there was corn in Egypt, he sent out our fathers first. And at the second time, Joseph was made known to his brethren. And Joseph's kindred was made known unto Pharaoh. Then sent Joseph and called his father Jacob to him, and all his kindred, three scorn and fifteen souls. So Jacob went down into Egypt and died he and our fathers, and were carried over into Sychem, and laid in the sepulcher that Abraham bought for a sum of money of the sons of Emor, the father of Sychem. A sermon lived. A minister preached a powerful sermon on a surrendered life. He made an appeal to his hearers to make the surrender. A woman sitting near another woman said, That is an excellent that is excellent preaching, but I wonder if such a life is possible. The other woman smiled back at her and said, Well, I know the preacher lives such a life because I happen to be his wife. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Bible Benefits. Have a good and godly day.